In this video, I am going to show you how to install Miniconda through the terminal onto any Linux machine. It's super simple. Just go to Google or any search engine and type in install Miniconda. Go to the Miniconda website and then just scroll down to the latest Miniconda installer links. Find the Linux one, right click the link, copy link, and then just go to your terminal. I'm in the home directory of my server. And just do wget and then paste the link you just copied. You should be able to paste into any terminal you are using even over SSH. Even if you're using PuTTY on Windows machine you should be able to paste into it. So just hit enter and this will download. Now if you look we have this miniconda.sh file and all you have to do is do sh and then the file name and run that and then you just hit enter a bunch of times to get through this agreement until you get to the bottom of course uh, actually read it and then hit yes and then I just like to install it in my home directory so just hit enter to confirm the location and then it will install for a little while and then just say yes to this part and then next, all you have to do is exit your terminal and bring it back up, and it will start running automatically. Alright, so I logged back into my server, and you see that it has this base in parentheses. That means you're in your base Miniconda environment. So Miniconda is a super useful environment and package handler. I'll just give you one example here, and what we'll do is just install star aligner. So I'll make a new environment. You can install everything in your base environment if you're lazy, but we'll just create a new one. We'll just call it environment one. So just take a second. And then again, we can go to Google and just type in conda install star. And then we come here to this anaconda.org link and you can just copy this. And when you run this command, it will install whatever you're trying to install. Oops, this is a good example of what not to do. We just created that environment. We want to conda activate our environment one. And you should see environment one here instead. But let's copy this here and hit enter and it'll just take a second to install. And that's basically it. Now you can install almost anything. Well, not anything, but there's so many different things you can install, and it's super easy. And you can make new environments for different projects so you don't have any weird overlap that causes errors between different programs. It's just a great and simple thing to use for any bioinformatics and data analysis. And let me just show you. So now if we run star.help, Actually, I think it's star capital. We see we get the help output from star, so we know star is properly installed. But if we do conda deactivate, back to the base environment, you see that star is no longer installed. And you can deactivate conda completely by going back even further. And now conda is completely deactivated.